There are a whopping 118 known chemical elements out there. Some of them are like superheroes that our bodies need to survive, while others are the ultimate villains. But what exactly makes an element bad? And what elements, despite looking scary, are actually pretty safe? Well, let's see. So, there are different categories of nastiness in a periodic table. First up, we have the radioactivity gang. These elements are like the rock stars of danger. We're talking about elements from atomic number 84, polonium, all the way to the super new element 118, oganesson, which by the way only got its name in 2016. They're highly radioactive, and you definitely want to keep your distance. Next, we have the toxic troublemakers. The US Environmental Protection Agency says they can be harmful to the environment or hazardous to our health if we breathe them in, swallow them, or they sneak into our skin. Yikes. We should definitely stay away from those guys. Last but not least, we have the reactive rascals. These elements are like the fiery daredevils of the periodic table. They're so reactive that they can start fires on their own, spontaneously. They can even burn underwater and make a big boom in the air. So it's best to give them some space and let them do their thing from a safe distance. As you can see, things are quite simple with dangerous elements. We all know that we shouldn't touch most of the elements of the periodic table. Most of them vary from being slightly creepy to absolutely horrifying, like plutonium, arsenic, francium, and so on. But what about the safe ones? Suddenly some elements are so harmless that you can even touch them with your bare hands. So let's take a look at them. First up, we have mercury. Well, to be honest, it can't be called the safest option. Mercury is like a sneaky troublemaker. It's super toxic and has caused health issues around the world throughout history. But humans are curious creatures, so can we touch mercury with our bare hands? Surprisingly, the answer is yes. You see, mercury can't get inside our bodies through the skin, so it's totally fine to touch it without any bad consequences. Mercury is kind of like a liquid that's thicker than water, but not as thick as whole milk. However, it's really heavy because it's 13 times denser than water. So if you held a few drops of mercury in your hand, you'd be amazed at how weighty it feels. Moreover, you can even swallow it. No, it doesn't mean that you should do that. What I meant is, if you accidentally swallow a little bit of mercury, you will most likely be fine. Swallowing elemental mercury isn't a great way for it to get into your system. In fact, less than 0.01% of that tricky element actually gets absorbed by your gut. Phew. But there is such a thing as mercury poisoning. Only it's not about eating it. This usually happens when the metal accumulates in your body over time, either through salts or organic compounds. For example, activities like burning coal and mining for gold release mercury into the environment. And guess what? Fish that are higher up in the food chain can have mercury too. That's because they've been munching on smaller fish that already had some mercury in them. So if you rely heavily on eating fish, especially the big ones, you might want to be a bit more cautious. All this means that we shouldn't go wild and careless with mercury. It's still pretty dangerous. For example, it's a big no-no to touch mercury if you have any cuts. Another thing to watch out for is when tiny droplets of mercury turn into vapor. The easiest way for mercury to sneak into our bodies is through inhalation. So let's keep our distance from that tricky vapor. And also, keep an eye on things like batteries, thermometers, and lamps with mercury. But hey, here's the good news. Mercury poisoning is quite rare, so you don't need to be too scared. While mercury can be a bit of a troublemaker, as long as we're aware and take some precautions, we can still have plenty of fun without it ruining the party. But there are some elements that are much safer than mercury. For example, phosphorus. Phosphorus is like the star of the show, always shining bright. It's actually one of the essential elements for life, just like the ones that make up our bodies. Now phosphorus comes in different forms. One of them is this waxy white substance that you can touch with your bare hands. Isn't that cool? But hold on, there's a catch. This type of phosphorus can be a bit tricky. It's highly reactive and can burst into flames if you give it the chance. And here's a fun fact. Phosphorus is known as the matchstick element because it was once used in the tips of matches to make them light up with a flick. So it's like a mischievous friend, always waiting to pull another prank on you. Definitely not something you want to store at home. 
But don't worry, not all forms of phosphorus are like that. There are other types, like the ones found in our bodies and teeth, that are totally safe. They're necessary for us to stay strong and healthy. There's also red phosphorus, which isn't harmful to skin, and you can safely touch it with bare hands. So, while you can touch certain forms of phosphorus, it's better to leave the pyrotechnics to the professionals. Safety first, friends! Next, we have bromine. Bromine might sound like a superhero name, but in reality, it's more of a sly trickster, always up to something interesting. Bromine is a liquid, which is pretty unique for an element. Most elements are either solid or gas. And guess what? It's like a chameleon because it can change color. Bromine can be red, brown, or even black. Talk about a style icon. Here's another fun fact. Bromine gets its name from the Greek word bromos, which means stench. Why? Because it has a strong smell that can tickle your nose if you get too close. Aside from its unique properties, bromine has some practical uses too. It's used in flame retardants to help keep things safe and prevent fires from spreading too quickly. So even though bromine can be a bit tricky, it's doing its part to make the world a safer place. But hold on. Before you go touching bromine with your bare hands, here's the scoop. It's not the friendliest element to play around with. Bromine is quite reactive and can irritate your skin if you're not careful. So, it's best to keep a safe distance and let the professionals handle it. And finally, carbon. Carbon is like the superhero of the element world. It's everywhere, making up the building blocks of life. I mean, you're made of carbon. Your body, your brain, your skin. Carbon is the key ingredient that makes you, well, you. Carbon is also super versatile. It can take on different forms, like a shape-shifting champion. It can be a sparkling diamond, a soft pencil lead, or even a mysterious black lump of coal. It's in the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the trees and plants that surround us. Oh, and let's not forget about Carbon's role in technology. It's the superstar of the digital age, powering everything from smartphones to computers. So when you're scrolling through social media or playing your favorite game, give a little nod to Carbon for making it all possible. That's why it's totally safe to touch Carbon with your bare hands. Your hands are literally made of it, after all. And it's not like that sneaky phosphorus that can set your fingers on fire. So go ahead, give yourself a high five. Chemistry is like a treasure trove of elements, each with its own unique story. Some might be safe to touch, while others require caution and expertise. But whether we're exploring the world of elements or our own daily adventures, let's always prioritize safety and curiosity. Have fun and stay tuned. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.